So the creepy note with the address on it didn't turn out to be what I thought it would be. I thought it would lead to me rescuing my bestie. My heart was definitely trembling in fear. Oh, what a feeling. Can you believe it was my ex-boyfriend Brian throwing an Airbnb first day of summer surprise party? Almost everyone from the school is here, at least everyone that matters. I feel some sort of relief but not totally relieved because I'm still wondering where my bestie could be. Wait, what if she's here at the party? I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find her. OMG, I just saw Jaden walk by. My heart is pounding so fast I don't know what to do. Wait, he just looked at me and now he's heading my way. Have you ever heard of heaven on earth? Well, I just experienced it for five minutes. I can't believe I actually had a conversation with the man of my dreams. His voice, his smile, his eyes, his lips. I mean, everything about him is so perfect. He told me how beautiful he thinks I am and that he wishes we can hang out sometime before summer ends. I am floating on cloud nine. Cupid has struck again. One thing I couldn't help but notice was that he kept smelling around me as if he smelt a bad odor. Damn, I forgot I was in that filthy and smelly Uber car. OMG, the Uber driver might still be outside and it's been 40 minutes since I left him. As if things couldn't get any worse, now there's some idiot outside banging on the front door. What have I done? This is so embarrassing. Now Officer Whitley is at the front door asking for a young girl that got dropped off by an Uber to this address. Luckily, no one knew it was me. I'm going to sneak to the bathroom and stay there until he leaves. Okay, I'm upstairs hiding in the bathroom shower. Two people just busted in here kissing and moaning. They have to be drunk, I can tell. What if it's my bestie? It kind of sounds like her. I swear if that's her, I will strangle her so bad it's not even funny. I'm about to take a peek. As I peek from behind the shower curtain, you won't believe who I see. The Queen of the Nasties. It's Rebecca's trifling self kissing on my ex-boyfriend, Brian. How could she just cheat on her boyfriend as if he doesn't even matter? I swore I saw him downstairs earlier. I probably would be furious if Brian was still mine, but he's not. Besides, he's a cheater as well, so I guess that would make them both perfect for each other. Being that they are both sluts. I just hope Jaden hasn't left the party yet. I want to see him again and possibly get his phone number this time. Just to spend a day with him will make my entire summer. Finally, Rebecca and Brian are out of the bathroom. Yuck, I just can't stand her. Let me go back downstairs and see if anyone has seen my bestie today. So I have spoken to almost everyone here, and no one has seen or heard from my bestie all day. I seem to be the only one that was with her today besides those two boys. Where could this girl be? OMG, it's 12.15 a.m. and my mom is blowing up my phone. She is probably worried sick about me.